All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And I uh, just came across this, uh, this news here on Dabu 777. And, um, this is digit they are ready to digitize the dollar all right digitize the dollar to where you don't you you don't use any uh uh federal reserve note okay everything will be digitized if you don't have a banking account you will have um apps that you can be wired money and they basically trying to get rid of the dollar on the whole so what does this lead lead us to? All right, this lead us to what? The RFID microchip, because that is in goal for these Edomites. And um, by just re these reports, you know, it seems as though Edom is having a hard time uh, forcing people to worship the image of the beast, you know, before he actually show forth his fangs. You know, he's gradually, you know, whining, and diamond and uh, using all sorts of avenues to uh, bring forth the system into one one way, which is to worship the image of the beast. All right. So I'm gonna play a little bit of this video here. Get ready. Feds, feds prepare to deposit digital dollars directly to Americans. All right. This is Dabu Seven. The Fed is making a very interesting move here. We often talk about the dollar, the possible death of the dollar. And we've talked about blockchain technology and digital currencies in extreme depth. Well, here we now have the Fed talking about rolling out a new form of getting cash to people. And this is very similar to what Nancy Pelosi was hinting at the last time they sent out stimulus checks. When they sent out the stimulus checks, they said that they could not reach a bunch of Americans, saying that they were unbanked. When they made this statement, they had shown draft paperwork on where this was all going, that they were going to set up a digital wallet and a currency to be able to get people this money. Now, they're saying that this next time, it's going to be just that. We have two different individuals here. Well, former Fed officials, Simon Potter, who led the Federal Reserve Bank of New York's market group. And then we have Julia Coronado, who spent eight years as an economist for the Fed's Board of Governors. They are among the people that are coming up with these new ideas to make all this happen. Now, these two propose creating a monetary tool that they call recession insurance bonds which draws on some of the advances in digital payments, which will be wired instantly to Americans. They say that Congress would grant the Federal Reserve an additional tool for providing support, say, a percentage of G GDP or something, in a lump sum. That would then be divided equally and distributed to households during the recession. The recession insurance bonds would be a zero-coupon security. And it would be an asset. The Fed would then activate the securities and deposit the funds digitally in household apps. And what they're saying here is this is going to cut out the traditional bank all in all when it's all said and done. This is what most people are not seeing. But to get there, they're walking it in this direction. They have now allowed all the banks to carry digital wallets to get this ball rolling. It's now legal. It's 100%. And the Feds are basically saying here, this is the direction that we are taking it. This is the end game for all of this. Digitizing the dollar. Now, I'm going to break this down more on the upcoming live stream. So make sure to follow me on D Live. Go on live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. You'll find links below in the description box. Much love, y'all. All right. Digitizing the dollar. You know, we already know Esau's... Uh, his main goal is to do what? To put a chip in you. All right. And that's why the scriptures is here that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh have given us to prepare us for these times. 
All right. So it says Revelations 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right. So the image of the beast, that's the system. And it seems as though through a lot of reports, you know, Esau is having their little tug of war and forcing people to worship the image of the beast. You know, but it's going to come a great time when he's going to show forth his horns, meaning he's going to come down having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. So it says, and cause that as many as would not worship the beast, the, the worship, the image of the beast should be killed. All right. You know, right now it's gradualism, you know, and and it kind of makes sense. And one reason why they've been holding back the stimulus check, you know, script, you know, well, they say uh, the saying is never let a crisis go to waste. So they're using uh, the stimulus check to be the second to give out to basically change the way that we receive uh, money. Now, no longer using Federal Reserve note. Now, just months back, they said it was a coin shortage. Meaning they're not making any more coins because the coins could have the virus on it, which is baloney. But anyway, verse 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, now what is that mark? That mark is the chip. All right, the RFID microchip, radio frequency identification. And it's just that, all right, radio frequency, where you can use it as a uh, uh, what, what is it called near fear communication chip where you can swipe and go all right you don't have to touch anymore radio frequency identification and it becomes also your new identity all right now a lot of Israelites out here who don't you know believe in this prophecy or they can't see the prophecy or they don't teach the prophecy you know you're going to be in a world of hell at this time, you know, and so is your congregation that believe in you. But anyway, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that means chip, people are going to be chipped inside their heads. Yep. And people are going to be chipped inside their arms, body. All right. These are indicators that this mark will be incision. Okay, right, right up underneath the skin in the body. It says, and that word mark goes back to karagma. All right. So it says, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name or the beast or the number of his name. So this is clear as day. If you can't see it, you know, you should be able to see it. All right. Either you're being too prideful or let's say you're being prideful, arrogant. All right. Or you just ignorant and you don't know. Well, now you know. All right. It says in that no man might buy or sell. Okay. Eventually, this whole society within America, Babylon, and even around the world, they're going to get rid of the, the notes. All right. And everything is going to be digitized. That's what they're doing. They're taking away the Federal Reserve note. They already put a a cease on coin shortage all right on the coins because they want everything to go digitally and what did that lead you to ultimately the end goal you being microchipped it says save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have this mark it says here is wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. All right, so with that, I hope you are edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Makakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.